Reverend, thanks for joining us. Tell us about the campaign. What uh, what are you looking at? Uh, what are your goals? Uh, just goals. Well, it, I got into this because a uh, city I love. Uh, I bring a wealth of experience, and uh, I've served under uh, former Mayor John Logie as well as the uh, current Mayor George Hartwell. Um, I've been in the state. I've been in the city. I've been on the school board. So I have a broad wealth of experience that I thought, you know, where are we going from here? Uh, I have grandchildren now, and it's not about me, it's not about my ego, but it's about them. What's the future going to be for them coming up? Let's talk about the ca campaign specifically. I noticed uh, in some of your endorsements, a lot of the folks who are behind term limits uh, are behind you. Did they come mm -hmm. and ask you to run? No. No, ironically, that's amazing. And I was against term limits mm -hmm. uh, because of the state experience. Uh, Michigan now has a legacy cost that's astronomical uh, on the state level. And I was putting that onto the local level. Uh, and you're losing so much experience. Uh, but the voters voted term limits in. And that's when I began to look at, wow, you know, we're going to lose a number of persons with experience off of our city commission. And so then now it's about leadership. And that's what I, I know I bring to the table. Do you think those folks may help you? This, this kind of anti-incumbent thing, even though you do have the experience and you've been around? I think so. I, I believe so, because it, I believe people have seen that it, for me it is about uh, uh, what do I feel is best for the community, for my city. Um, that's what I've been passionate about, various things, and uh, that's why I'm running. Um, I have 35 years as pastor, you learn some things. You know, particularly in the inner city, you learn some things. So that's what I bring to the table. Okay, great. So we're looking